So I've only been jogging for a few weeks now. And uh, my first day out doing burpees by the pier. I'm at the wharf. Public wharf. People surf down here. So I've been doing sets of 820 for about a year now. I only just recently started doing them on my knuckles. But two out of every three. Two out of every three I do on my knuckles. Still doing them on this foam thing. That's taking me forever. So, I have this mental health disorder where I falsely believe that you're all a bunch of fucking coward, two-faced little bitches. Which is a bit of a fucking nuisance. So I think, mistakenly, that you're all hiding behind some kind of fucking sign language. I don't speak the language perfect, so... It's just inconvenient for you bitches to be like this. I'm not sure what happened yesterday. There was some faggot up on Mountain Street. I'm just an idiot. Stands about know, 10 paces away from me. Pauses for reflection. It's like a second, whatever. And then, as I was on the right side, or left side, whatever side of the sidewalk, instead of continuing straight past me, this faggot. moved over there on the sidewalk to be in front of me. And they just prayed through. No, there was no fight. Nothing happened. Whatever that goof was thinking, he's a fucking idiot. What struck me though, is that he paused about, you know, 10 paces in front of me. Probably said something in sign language. And after this past year that I've spent denouncing this form of cowardice, this pig, tries to walk through me and it's just a little fucking annoying so yeah I don't know what's up with that it's just a little weird to humanity. Uh, what's going on there? I can't say what happened there. If anything happened at all. Some people I've never seen before. But that happens all the time. There are no obvious instances with this sign language. So I can't say. I don't know. By obvious instances. Give me an example. 
I'm arguing with my landlord in St. John, New Brunswick. He's doing reno in the sink or whatever, doing repairs. So I'm in the kitchen talking to him. And he mispronounced my name. He does this all the time, it's fucking annoying. When I correct him, he claims he made a mistake. After constantly correcting him, he gets mad at me. Instead of telling me what his problem is, because he's still making a mistake. Instead of, because we're having a verbal, vocal discussion, an argument. Instead of him telling me what his problem is, he does this thing like this, looks at me. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He looks like a fucking idiot. Now don't tell me shit, but that is an example of the obvious sign language. No idea what he's talking about. Probably being offensive, probably a little crude. He's my landlord, so I don't assault him. Don't even ask. Just fucking shaking my head. What a fucking idiot. Or Mr. Psychiatrist. In his office, at his desk. We're having, you know, conversation, whatever. I'm there by court order, so whatever. We chat for an hour. And during his chat, he interrupts our argument about my delusions and does this thing. Like lifts his hand over the desk and does that. Like, dude, seriously, what the fuck? This is the problem. You are not communicating. Especially when I wound up in prison listening to another Mr. Psychiatrist threatening me with involuntary psychiatric incarceration for persistent complaining about my delusions of persecution. It's just a little fucking annoying. So I've seen that crooked finger. I mean, it's one thing for me to crook my finger like that in public. It's quite another for me to assault someone for doing the same thing. Especially after years of delusions of Mr. Kennedy. So I've seen the same thing a few times. The crooked finger thing. A few notables. After assaulting my neighbor in Hamilton, stabbed him, I fled arrest. And throughout my hike across Ontario, from Hamilton to Winnipeg, over two and a half months. Every time I encountered civilization, I met up with this kind of bullshit. That was just fucking annoying. It didn't disturb my day much, so I just go about my business. No one says or does anything. But, I have to equate this behavior with my want of employment or meaningful relationships, estrangement with my family, and a shitload of other problems. Especially since, which is a real fucking issue, when I have to listen to Mr. Psychiatrist insist that I'm delusional. That's a fucking problem.
was in some time. In Ontario somewhere, northwest. Doing my shopping. So I hiked the entire distance from Hamilton to Winnipeg. It took me two and a half months. So I had a tent, a backpack, a few other things. But I had to carry my food with me. So the food would only last me two days. Then I have to buy some more. Which is what I did. So I go to Walmart next town, whatever supermarket they had, and buy some groceries there. One town in particular, I'm just going about my business, doing my shopping. And after a few minutes, like a while, I noticed these pigs following me around. Just normal everyday people, you know, run of the mill, average, working, honest, decent, you know, perverts follow me around the Walmart. So then I look up, to, you know, take a second look at one of them. And you hear in a crowd, and I hear a nearby crowd, like three or four of them, all staring, well, all clustered together, commenting about how I just noticed something. Well, the thing is, I've been delusional like this for a long fucking time. This mental health disorder is real fucking bother. I feel I'm coping admirably with this mental health disease. But the pigs around me need to pull their fucking heads out of their arse. You need to stop imagining that I'm gonna be impressed with your fucking bullshit. Cause you're a bunch of bitches. It's my first time doing burpees outdoors this summer. Mid-April. I think I was a little more hardcore last year. It started mid-March. I don't know. Whatever. You know.
So when I got to Winnipeg, so I was staying, I was homeless in Winnipeg for a few weeks. My tent and everything. Just picked up my shit in the morning. Packed my tent. Picked it all up every morning. People apparently had a real problem with me being homeless in Winnipeg. Remember one bitch at the Dollarama, just buying food, whatever, feeding myself. So I go to Dollarama, and she wasn't an employee or anything. She walks by me and whispers the very ominous and frightening word, pedophile. So here's the thing, if I'm a fucking pedophile, you pigs need to find a fucking pair of balls, strap them on, and do something, because it's been 10 years since that happened. I've been suffering this kind of abuse at the hands of entire communities across the country for over 40 years. I'm 50 something. So that's a conservative estimate. Probably started like when I was two. Long time. If you pigs want to call me a pedophile, you need to find some balls. Because that's fucking pathetic. It really happens all the time. I am the Christ they call Kennedy. But half the inmates called me Kennedy. Well, with most staff. Let's call me Christ. There's never really any hubbub about it. Not me, anyway. Not that I saw. I don't know what the fucking problem is. Some people have a real fucking issue with it. That is what you're gonna do. You want to mispronounce it. It was an accident. You fucking idiots. Hey, enough about my fucking name. Let's talk about it. Beautiful. I'm the headest head of all heads. And all of had them. I'm the one you can't even find, can't even fucking make. The rest of you crumble in a few days, sucking cock for Jesus. Please, Jesus, help me. Suck, suck. Now you take your fucking Jesus and shove him up your ass. One thing. If you want to call me a pedophile, seriously, man, you got fucking problems.
So supposedly let's say we invented something called emotion. Emotion control. Well we can use telepathy to control a person's emotions. Along with that goes temperament, flexibility, speed, aggression, you know, the adrenaline shit. Let's suppose we invent something called emotion control. Where despite keeping the victim of your abuses ignorant of a silent form of communication that is ubiquitous throughout society, keep one individual ignorant, blind, planning on feigning, pretending, his understanding of this cowardly form of communication using emotion control. I'm hetero. Het, het, het. The head is head of all heads. You're never going to goad me into being a violent, aggressive, vociferous arrogant, homosexual. Get angry, you whore. Telepathy is the same as get angry, you homosexual. Telepathy. The same arousal. You're not going to goad me with emotion control so long as you think that the side of a penis will do anything but disgust me. So long as you believe that I'm aroused by homosexuality and the sight of a penis, everything you do will always fail. It's a simple rule, simple. You fucked up. Now you can't find me because you can't close the deal. Can't finish your job, so we gotta wait until tomorrow. Try to look a bunch of fucking gossipy old maids, fucking bunch of whores, a lot of you. Why stare down your nose at me? It's fucking rich, big shit. Just fucking rich. Try to goad me into violence. I'm gonna try speaking appropriate, speaking full, complete dialogue, English or French, complete sentences to me, at me, about me. You know, not a delusion. Okay, so far, done a lot of prison time for hallucinations and delusions, and mental health. It's a little fucking annoying. So by the age of 50 something, you still can't figure out what arouses me? You fail by default, man. Now after so many years of delusions, Mr. Kennedy, I'm a little weary about being enticed to another situation. Well, I'm the one who winds up in jail listening to Mr. Psychiatrist tell me how delusional I am. So if you want to start shit with me, just grow a fucking pair. Don't argue about the weather. Latest fashion. Or who sings better. Because I'm not going to give a shit about that. You're never going to arouse me with your fucking gay shit. No, that's going to fucking work with me. Ever. So long as you're trying to arouse a homosexual, if you were to spit in my face, 
I would wait and see if it was an accident before assaulting him. Now, don't call me a coward. Especially you fucking Jesus bitches want to preach your fucking Jesus shit to me. Remember that turn the other cheek shit? Do unto others, you know that? It's all in the fine and good. But if you're the preacher talking about this shit, you want to stare down at me, call me a coward, because I don't assault someone with the slightest offense. While you bitches Refuse to explain your fucking coward language. High blind delusions, Mr. Kennedy excuses. I'm not the one who's being a coward right now.
wrote an interlibrary loan book here in Moncton. Not sure what it's from exactly, but uh, it's about sectarian violence in Ireland. Uh, author Sean Farrell. Rituals and Riots. I just started. Chapter 2. With the orange men and all that. After 700 years of penal laws, penal laws, or was it? A century and a half, penal laws that penalized Roman Catholics in Ireland it made the ownership of property illegal. They weren't even second class citizens, as they were not considered citizens. They had no right to bear arms. <laughs> 